New details tonight in the Aaron Hernandez murder investigation. This afternoon, a cousin of the former Patriots tied in faced the judge in connection with the investigation. Tanya Singleton was indicted yesterday on a charge of contempt for refusing to testify to a grand jury. Prosecutors believe she helped Hernandez's co-defendant, Ernest Wallace, flee to Florida after the killing. Iowa to Sue's reporter Sean Daly joins us now live from Fall River with the developing details. As here in Fall River today, Aaron Hernandez's cousin pleaded not guilty to a charge of criminal contempt of court. How do you plead to this Not guilty. 37-year-old Tanya Singleton is Aaron Hernandez's cousin. She's in legal trouble now, too, in connection with the murder of 27-year-old Odin Lloyd. She's been in prison since August 1st for refusing to testify before a grand jury investigating the murder after she received immunity from prosecution. What we're alleging is that she disobeyed an order of the court when she had the ability to obey an order of the court. Prosecutors say Tanya Singleton bought a bus ticket for still a third person connected to the killing, 43-year-old Ernest Wallace. He's accused of being an accessory to the murder after the fact. Prosecutors say the bus ticket Tanya Singleton bought helped Ernest Wallace make his getaway. It allowed him to travel from Georgia to Florida. Ernest Wallace's getaway is important because prosecutors say he was with Aaron Hernandez when they and a third man, 27-year-old Carlos Ortiz, drove to Boston and picked up Odin Lloyd and then drove back to North Attleboro, where Odin Lloyd was shot to death in an industrial park less than a mile from Aaron Hernandez's million-dollar home. Court records show authorities also seized a cell phone and four credit cards from Tanya Singleton. They believe it was her phone that Ernest Wallace used on the night of the murder. Tonight, Tanya Singleton is still in prison. She's being held without bail, at least until a bail hearing set for October 3rd. Live in Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.